Thank you, Chairman and ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and it is the time just after dinner, so you have some boring and some sna <laughs> sleepy. So I, I'd like to show some uh, movie or some very, very briefly, I introduced some septal puncture. Uh, so <clears throat> as this uh, diagram showed, interarterial septum is located between left atrium and right atrium. In this diagram, this septal area is very broad, but really the septal, real septal area is very small, uh, <clears throat> although the, our concept is septal is the, between RA and RA, because some folding and some uh, strong uh, structure, uh, ligament structure was around here, so when we see the specimen of the <clears throat> septum, just uh, some from, from uh, uh, top of the RA and RA and bottom of the atrium, but some real septal area is just around here, drawing, drawing post avalis. Uh, so uh, it is a real post avalis area. We can introduce from RA to the RA uh, pro, uh, sort of like small target. And the posaobalis in CT image is located variably, and for this patient, the uh, septum, uh, septal area is like here, and the angle of from RA and RA was about 45 degree, and some patient have a, some more broad and some thicker. And for other patient, it's, the angulation is somewhat deep, steeper than other patient. So <laughs> we have uh, some mm, many consideration about that before transeptal uh, puncture. So it, this is the uh, flow diagram of the uh, septal puncture procedure at first baseline cast position and positioning of transeptal puncture assembly in the SBC. And from there, we uh, pull down the septal puncture assembly to the post uh, uh, engagement, verification of post engagement and septal puncture and validation of needle tip in the RA and she's advance into the RA. I'd like to show some um, movie around here. Uh, baseline cast position is, looks like there. For most of the PMB uh, procedure, the baseline, uh, the cast is referenced by the transaortic pigtail, which located here, just at RAO view like this. And the RAO view like this is uh, diagram shows some RAO view and RAO view. So uh, for this, the post is located here. Uh, for this, post is located around here. here. Uh, for electrophysiology, they, uh, we, we, are, we prefer to uh, cast position at the coronary sinus. At the area of view, coronary sinus uh, is, looks like there, and the septal area is looks, uh, located here. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and the area of view, it is parallel to the uh, coronary sinus uh, coronary sinus uh, direction, it is very uh, parallel to that area. This area is about possibilities by area of view. So after uh, we can uh, <coughs> recognize the, uh, where is the gross point of the possibilities, we uh, introduce the transeptal puncture assembly around the SBC to the innominate vein and by AP we uh, we first position the transeptal puncture assembly located here. And then uh, we use the broken bone needle uh, to <coughs> advance into the transeptal uh, assembly and uh, we uh, adjust the range of the motion to target the uh, 45 degree around here, the, the, there, and then pull down to at area view and first jump, and we can see the second jump here. So this area is usually the post area with the fluoroscopic imaging. And we uh, should verification of the post engagement by area view, looks like around here, and by area view, it is around we have uh, some pigtail cast at outer and coronary sinus. This area is, looks like the post area by fluoroscopic view. 
And the, for the most trans, uh, structural heart disease um, procedure, we use the TE or ICE for transeptal puncture. It has advantage of the validation of proper needle position, even in anatomically difficult cases. And uh, during TE, we can see the possible stenting by transeptal puncture needle and confirm the successful array access. And if there is uh, some cardiac tamponade or pericardial effusion, we can early rec uh, recognize very early by TE. And this, this advantage of TE during transeptal puncture is uh, it increased the cost and the second operator and uh, uh, some uh, Rather than IC, ICE, rather than TE, has uh, some more need require more experience, and uh, for the IC, ICE, it requires additional balance sheets needed. It is uh, <clears throat> representative of TE image during uh, septal puncture uh, by by cover view, uh, 90 degree, we can see the RA and RA and SBC. So. The post oval is uh, located here, and we, we can judge that it is uh, superior or inferior. And by short X view of 45 degree, we can see the LA and the RA and the outer uh, transversely. We can uh, uh, localize the transactor function. He here is the posterior, here is the anterior. So <clears throat> we can. Uh, we can choose the where is the anterior position or posterior position, upper position or lower position by looking the T at this different view. Uh, as for the array appendage occluder, the optimal procedure site is uh, usually uh, lower position rather than higher position because uh, most of the area appendage is located at the superior and anterior location. So, uh, by, uh, by low puncture, we can uh, <clears throat> get more space to manipulate the caster. So uh, by area appendage occlusion, we recommend the lower position septal puncture. And by uh, transverse view, uh, for the area appendage occlusion, we, can, we recommend the posterior septal puncture rather than anterior. So uh, by, by this, we can uh, arrive the area appendage from the posterior with more space in the, in the LA rather than like anterior septal puncture. Uh, but it has uh, some different recommendation by the uh, device which, which was used. Uh, uh, it, it was uh, insisted by Dr. Jerome Park from German, uh, German physician. He recommended for the ACP uh, area appendage occluder. He, it is uh, it is uh, recommended to <coughs> that function at, at the lower portion. And for the watchman uh, device, uh, they recommend the posterior and middle of the mid level. So uh, we, by, by this uh, location, uh, we can um, do the procedure more easily and comfortably. And how about the PMV or mitral clip? Uh, uh, PMB and mitral clip, uh, uh, mitral bulb and uh, structure is bit, uh, located lower and anterior. So, so most transeptal puncture should be performed under ultrasound guidance in order to uh, pierce the septum higher and posterior. Uh, we we can <coughs> uh, imagine that the, uh, as the mitral bulb is located anterior and lower, so the higher and posterior position septal puncture uh, is allows adequate distance above the mitral valve plane for manipulation of the guiding and delivery caster and to properly place the mitral valve clip or balloon. How about the paravalvular leak closure? Uh, paravalvular leak of mitral processes can be repaired percutaneously from the transeptal approach, particularly if the leak is along the lateral aspect of the array. So for that, the transeptal puncture should be in the middle or lower possibilities to direct light Jenkins caster to the lateral wall of the atrium at the level of the mitral valve. And the next step is the confirmation of appropriate placement. Uh, it can be, uh, we can use the fluoroscopic imaging uh, by, with this uh, septal puncture and by uh, broken bronchi, we withdraw some blood 
and it is oxygenated or not, we can uh, confirm that it is in the LA or other, air, other chamber, and the contrast injection pop may um, helpful to distinguish the, uh, it is LA or other pericardial space, echo image, and the, uh, measure the LA pressure is the, to confirm the appropriate period placement of the castor sheath. It is uh, one example of pressure monitoring at the broken bone needle at the tip of, we, we can apply the pressure uh, monitoring uh, tube. And before that, it is like that. And after transatal puncture, we can measure the array pressure from the broken bone needle. So we can confirm uh, it is now in the array. And for that purpose, we recommend never advance the sheath and the dilator if you can confirm the needle tip is in the array. It is one example of the uh, free space, pericardial space uh, puncture, and uh, we uh, <coughs> incidentally checked left to check the left angiogram, but uh, as, you sh as you can see, this is not array in the pericardial space. So you should confirm, and, and before this procedure, uh, it, which uh, this is in the array or not. And transfer function is sometimes very difficult because uh, this case is in the repeated transemptal transition uh, as in the AF population, redo AF population, we can sometimes very difficult to have a, to do transeptal puncture. And sometimes atrial septal aneurysm and the surgical repair the ASD or PFO and device closure of ASD and PFO and distorted anatomy of interarterial septum due to congenital heart disease or sometimes severe scoliosis cannot do to, tra to do transeptal puncture by severe scoliosis. I'd like to show some difficult case transeptal puncture. It is patient who have uh, AS closure by cortex rather than pericardium. It is very difficult to, uh, trans to do transeptal puncture for the atrial fibrillation ablation. So we apply the uh, uh, diastomy electrocautery at the tip of the uh, broken bone needle. So we can see and we by this, transeptal puncture it pierced the septum and like this. But many air bubbles during that procedure, so we have, I'm very concerned about that uh, during this procedure. Uh, uh, the, uh, another device which was used at RF energy to do, uh, to, <coughs> to do transeptal puncture needle, it has uh, some connection uh, at the transeptal puncture needle. With that, we connect to the RF generator it make easy to perform the transeptal puncture for this difficult case. And some um, device also is available, the transeptal guide wire is uh, using the uh, very uh, sharp tip guide wire was with uh, J-shape, in uh, which was in the broken bone needle. We can advance the uh, guide wire tip before the uh, broken bone needle, we can choose like this and we can confirm more safely to do transeptal puncture with this guide wire. Uh, complication of the uh, transeptal puncture is uh, may consider that as less than 1%. It is pericardial effusion, sometimes aortic puncture, perforation of the right or left arterial wall. Uh, for the uh, pre, uh, le left, or, uh, left or right arterial wall, using only the broken bone needle, it does not uh, cause the, uh, usually it, it does not cause the cardiac tamponade or pericardial effusion. So we, at, when you feel that it is not in the LA, but in the pericardium, uh, you do not, you should not advance the sheath uh, to that because it may cause some more problem. But when you just withdraw the needle, uh, the pericardial effusion or cardiac tamponade uh, occurs very rarely. And the transcendental function may cause some trans, uh, thrombus formation and some iatrogenic ASD is one of the concerns by the transcendental puncture. Usually, uh, using the, uh, put, during the AF revelation, we use the seven-prench or eight-prench uh, <coughs> sheets, 
it does not cause the uh, atrogen ASD after procedure. But uh, when during mitra clip, we use the 22 French sheets, it, it, it makes some problem with the iatrogen ASD by this procedure. Some case report was report, some case was reported with the uh, <coughs> arterial septum laceration, which uh, required the device to close that. And the air embolism, air embolism is another big problem using the uh, transeptal puncture. I show some my worst case of the air embolism. Uh, during procedure, we can see some uh, sound, which was <laughs> made during the sheath. Sheath was open, but has uh, some, we, uh, so after that, I, I, I uh, locate the pigtail at the ascending outer, and at the ascending outer, which we saw was some air, airgram. Can you see? In that outer, so we aspiration error. So after that, we, uh, we can proceed the procedure without any complication. You should see this one. This is error. At that time, the EC showed us some ST elevation at the imperial lead. It is another example from the Dr. Shim in Korea University. He, during some area, it's right there. It is, looks like area appendage, and some coronary artery showed us some massive air embolism around there. So you should keep in mind you, and <clears throat> to avoid the air embolism during transeptal puncture. Uh, but in my experience, this air embolism is usually occur during some use of the uh, sedation or propopol. Because if propopol causes some respiratory depression in sometimes, so it causes some <clears throat> after respiratory depression, patient have uh, some big snoring. <sighs> so it causes main negative pressure in chest wall, so it causes some uh, aspiration, the air from the valve of the castor. So uh, usually, you know, by general anesthesia, it uh, it is more safe. But when you use the propofol or midazolam, so when it, uh, it causes respiratory pressure during procedure, you should keep in mind that it is somewhat very unstable to <laughs> avoid air, air aspiration. Uh, it's my conclusion. Uh, intracardiac castration should be used as an anatomical marker to avoid the puncture, the outlet. Uh, after the initial puncture, it is essential to verify the tip of the transeptal puncture need needle in the array before advancing the delayed or sheath. And meticulous attention to do air the airing and flushing of sheaths and heparinization, heparinization is necessary. Most common complication is pericardial puncture, but if the sheath or dilator are not advanced over the needle, tamponade is very unlikely. And the use of TE or ICE is necessary for targeted septal puncture for structural heart disease to allow enough space and uh, proper angle for delivery and manipulation of the device. For the area appendage occluder, uh, lower and posterior. PMV or mitral clip, higher and posterior, and parabellar leakage closure, middle or lower. Thank you for attention.